we're given matrix A, which is a four by four matrix, and we're asked to find the eigenvalues of A. The eigenvalues of A are the values of lambda that satisfy the equation, the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda times I equals zero, which can also be expressed as the determinant of the difference of lambda I and matrix A equals zero as shown here. Let's go ahead and use this form of the equation. And I've already set some of this up. We have the determinant of this difference, where this matrix here is lambda times I, where matrix I is the four by four identity matrix. And then here's matrix A of the given matrix. So we want to find the determinant of the difference of these two matrices, which gives us this determinant here. So we want to find the values of lambda that make this determinant equal to zero. To evaluate the determinant, we'll use the cofactor method, and it would be best to select the row with the most zeros, but in this case, because all the rows contain two zeros, let's go ahead and use row one. Starting with row one, the first element is lambda plus three, so we have the quantity lambda plus three times negative one raised to the power of the sum of the row and column of this element, which is in row one, column one, one plus one is two, times the determinant formed by eliminating row one and column one, which will give us a three by three determinant, where the first row would be lambda minus four, zero, zero. Second row is zero, lambda plus five, four. The third row is zero, two, lambda minus two. And then we have plus the next element in row one, which is negative two, so we have plus negative two times negative one raised to the power of three, because this element is in row one, column two, one plus two is three, times the determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of negative two, so we eliminate row one, column two. Remaining elements make up the determinant, so we have three, zero, 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 lambda plus five, four, and zero, two, lambda minus two. And we can actually go ahead and stop here because notice how the remaining elements in row one are zero, so the rest of the expansion would be zero. So we want to know when all this is equal to zero. So now we need to evaluate the three by three determinants, and again we'll use the cofactor method. So negative one to the second is positive one, so we have the quantity lambda plus three times. Let's go and expand using row one, so we have the quantity lambda minus four times negative one to the second, because this element is in row one, column one, times the two by two determinant, which is called the minor, formed by eliminating row one, column one. So we have lambda plus five, four, two, and lambda minus two. And again, notice how the remaining elements in row one are zero, so we can go ahead and stop here. The rest of the expansion would be equal to zero. Here we have plus negative two times negative one, that's positive two. So we have plus two times, let's use the cofactor method using row one again, so we'd have three times negative one to the second, because this three is in row one, column one, and one plus one is two, times the two by two determinant, formed by eliminating row one, column one. So we have lambda plus five, four, two, lambda minus two. And once again, the remaining elements in row one are zero, so we can go ahead and stop the expansion. So all this on the left must equal zero. So for the next step, we'll evaluate the two by two determinants by finding this product minus this product. Let's do this on the next slide. So we have the quantity lambda plus three. Let's go ahead and use a bracket here. And then we have negative one to the second, that's positive one, so we have lambda minus four times the value of the determinant, which is the quantity lambda plus five times the quantity lambda minus two, and then minus four times two, which is minus eight. So we have a closed parenthesis here, and then a bracket, and then plus two. Let's use a bracket here. Then we have positive three times the value of the determinant, 
which again is the quantity lambda plus five times the quantity lambda minus two, minus four times two or minus eight, and then all this equals zero. So for our next step, let's go ahead and simplify here and here. So we have the quantity lambda plus three times, we have lambda minus four times, here we're going to have lambda squared, and then minus two lambda plus five lambda, that's plus three lambda, and then we have negative 10 minus a, which is minus 18, plus two times the quantity three. Now this is the same expression as this expression, so this is gonna simplify to the quantity lambda squared plus three lambda minus 18. Now we're actually gonna factor this. Notice how this product and this product contain a common factor of lambda squared plus three lambda minus 18. So we're gonna go ahead and factor that out. So we'd have lambda squared plus three lambda minus 18. Now let's be careful with what's left. If we factor this factor out of this product, we would have the quantity lambda plus three times the quantity lambda minus four. And then we'd have plus, if we factor this trinomial out of this product, notice how we have two times three left. So now for our next step, let's go ahead and simplify inside these parentheses here. So we have lambda squared plus three lambda minus 18 times, here we'll have lambda squared and then minus four lambda plus three lambda, it's minus one lambda or minus lambda, and then three times negative four is negative 12, but then we have plus six, so minus six equals zero. Both of these trinomials will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of lambda squared are lambda and lambda. The factors of negative 18 that add to positive three would be positive six and negative three. And now for this trinomial, the factors of lambda squared are lambda and lambda. The factors of negative six that add to negative one are negative three and positive two. So this product equals zero when lambda equals negative six, when lambda equals positive three. Notice here we get another lambda equals positive three, and here we get lambda equals negative two. So we actually have three eigenvalues even though the eigenvalue of positive three has multiplicity two. Let's get these in order from least to greatest. So we'll say lambda sub one equals negative six, lambda sub two equals negative two, and lambda sub three equals positive three. But let's go ahead and make a note here. This eigenvalue has multiplicity two. I hope you found this helpful.